dare you? How dare you walk out on me while I'm still talking to you? Faiz, are you crazy? Answer my question, little bride. What do you want me to say? What? I mean, how could you have such a notion in your mind? It's not a notion! It's what I saw! Wedding anxiety that has taken its toll on him. Hello, Mom. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Everything is fine, Mom. <laughs> My husband, he's not downstairs with you. Oh no, he's not here. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm upstairs. Um, yeah, I'm upstairs with, I'm with um, my mother-in-law. Oh, nothing, nothing serious. Just, um, you know, a little gossip, and <laughs> I'll be downstairs shortly. All right, mom. Okay, bye. Oh, my dear. Thank you. As I've said, it must have been the wedding. He said he saw me giving out my number to one of the guests, but I, I told him that I did not know. I, I didn't. How could he have such a thought in his mind? I, I don't know, Mom. I don't know. Please, my dear. I'm sorry about this whole unfortunate incident. Please. I know he's a jackass boy. But why would they allow you get to this? Sorry about this whole thing. Hmm? I want you to do me a favor. Put a smile on your face. And don't let anybody know anything. Hmm? My baby. Ah, yes. I have something here for you. I wanted to do this later, but I guess I could now. My husband's mother gave me this gift on my wedding day. And I'm giving it to you on your wedding day too, as a sign of our royalty. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Wow. Oh, um, he was busy. Oh, 
Michael came on. <laughs> How's Daddy? That's any well to him. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the kitchen. Hey, beauty. Wow. Someone is in need of a job and he was wondering if he could help you with your dish or anything else in, in, in the kitchen. Hey, my lady, send me to the moon. I'm your servant. Z? Z, baby. My Z world. <laughs> Please, Zara, I know I've wronged you. I have done the unimaginable, but please forgive me. Look, Zara, I promise if you forgive me this one, I will never, I will never ever hurt you again. Please, I'm sorry. Just, just forgive and forget. Alas, the queen of the house is here. Um, one more, please. Will the queen of the house oblige me, the humble servant of this house, to feed her? Please? It's better now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted you to laugh, my queen. Okay, here. Here we go.
<clears throat> well, I know that I should have brought this over to you in bed, so please forgive me. Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Well, I said I'm sorry for cooking this in a hurry. Where did you lay down to cook? <laughs> hmm? mm. My goodness. Mm. Okay, where did you learn how to cook? Really? <laughs> Can you imagine I'm actually eating something I know nothing about? Well. What's this? Well, it's a special kind of vegetable soup. Vegetable soup? Yes. Just vegetables. A special kind of vegetable soup. Well, my mom used to prepare this for my dad when he was still alive. And I begged her to teach me how to cook it because my dad always loved it each time she made it for him. And, uh, <clears throat> well, apart from my mom, I'm the only one who knows how to cook this kind of soup in my family. So, I don't mind teaching you, but um, <clears throat> it's going to cost you. That's, well, if you can afford it. <laughs> Really, it's delicious. It Thank is. you. Okay, now you might want to balance yourself out of this kitchen. What? My queen is not satisfied with my service? Of course I do. For now, you have to go and start preparing for work. Don't oh. worry, I'll call your attention. No, 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 darling, I'm not going to work today. I called John already and um, he's going to handle all my meetings. Baby, but don't you think your absence from work might affect your business? Well, of course not, darling. As a matter of fact, uh, you're missing one vital point. What? Well, you are my business, my queen. Am I? Oh, yes, you my are. My lord? Oh, yes, you are, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Seriously, are you sure? Of course. All right. In that case, Let's go make some kind of transactions then. Maybe I can't wait. Oh, my God. Now, this is not a matter of who that guy is. It's a matter of why were you stalking me around? Why? Don't you ever, ever talk to me like that ever in your life again. I asked you a simple question and all I want is a simple answer. Who is that guy? An old classmate. Liar! You're nothing but a cheap prostitute. Yes, that's what you are. How many times did he take you out? Did he even pay you? Did he pay you? How many times did he do it? How many times did he do it? Stop that accusation right now! How dare you talk to your wife like that? My wife? Yes! But you are also a whore for every other guy around in this area! Yes! That's what you are! I only ask you a simple question! You are nothing but a cheap prostitute! Eh? A one penny prostitute! You must be very stupid for talking to me like that. That's hey! Come here, come here, what are you just saying? I said you must defend! According to your report, your condition is stable. You are doing much better, thankfully. Besides, it is illogical for us to withhold. 
code and the information. Well, the good news is we are doing better now. There are no severe internal wounds. Within a few weeks, you'll be fine. Okay. Is my baby okay? We tried how we could. Unfortunately, we lost the child. We haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Please, I'm ashamed of myself. Are you? Yes, I am. Are you really ashamed of yourself? Of course, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It cost me more pains than I could face in my life. Sarah, please don't say that. Don't say that. Please, all I just want is for you to forgive me. Please. You chose not to believe me, no. Save the consequences. And yet to say you love me. Yes. Of course I love you. What sort of love is that? No, you, you tell me, what sort of love is that? What kind of love will make a man beat his wife until he's still telling her that he loves her? What? Please, no, don't talk like that. Just forget. Help me with my phone. I have it right here. <sighs> wow, twelve missed calls. And my mom. I'll call her back now. Hello, mom. Ah, uh, mom, yes. Uh, oh no, everything is fine, mom. Oh yes, mom. I was with my husband. I saw I couldn't take your call at that time. Oh yes, I'm fine. He's fine. I would, I'll see you as soon as I can, Mom. All right, Mommy. Yes, I will say hi to him for you. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye. Mm, so, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I just... My left thigh is still aching me. My God. But... Be careful. Why didn't you say something before we left the hospital? I complained to the doctor, but he assured me to go away. No, 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 that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I think I better call him to inform him about the situation. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, but he needs to know. I'll be fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. oh, honey, I, I cannot place your health on hold right now. I can't. Don't worry. You sure? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me just tell you this now. I will have to be at the office tomorrow morning to meet with some Japanese clients. Okay? I have a one-hour meeting with them and then I'll rush back to be with you. Okay? 
Why would you do that? Mommy, I'm sorry. Now, I talked to John to help me see them, but they insist that I, I must, they must see me in person, so... You know what I mean? Why would you rush back home? Baby, I'll be fine. No, that's out of the question, okay? Whether you'll be fine or not, uh, you're too delicate to be left in one in such a situation. Uh, not too. Baby, I'll be fine. I'll just make use of the walking stick the doctor recommended, and I'll be perfect. Baby, whether you'll be perfect or not, that is not my business. Okay? All I know is that I have a one hour meeting to attend in the office and I'll rush back to be with my Z baby. <laughs> now tell me, what do you want to eat? And I'll prepare it for you just like that. I'm not hungry. I just need to rest. Okay. Rest, okay. So, come on. So, you want me to take you to the bedroom or you're okay here? The bedroom. Bedroom. Your wish is my command, darling. Come, let's go. Come. May I be honored? Yes, please. Wow. <sighs> this is beautiful. I love it. You like it? I didn't say I like it. I said I love it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, in that case, consider yourself having two more of this by tomorrow. Oh, this... This is too much. I mean... Baby, <sighs> let's take it easy. I mean, you've been buying me too many gifts lately. Are you sure this is not one form of you asking for my forgiveness? Because if it is, it has to stop now. Why, baby? Because I've forgiven you already. Oh. Baby, you don't need to go this far. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a piece of good news for me. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Stop me. Stop I'm me. Happy. No, no, no. No, you have to stop that. No, no, no. 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 Hello, darling. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> How, How was you? your day? Oh, well, I spent all of it thinking about you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, how's on your pay? Is she tall, fair, cute face, long hair? <sighs> Look, I don't care if she's the most beautiful woman on earth. No one can ever take your place from you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you're welcome to doubt me. <coughs> what? No, nothing. I believe you, really. I really believe you. I just... I just want us to be in good time together. Just to take care of this little creature in this world. Oh my God! <laughs> See, baby? My, my sweet darling! <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. I, I got the news today. The doctor, I mean, it's almost four weeks. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, no. Look, so, so you're telling me that there's a young, strong Faisal living in this perfect abode? He's definitely going to go, go to be a strong man. He, how are you sure he's a boy? Oh, no, 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 of course not. He's not a boy. He's going to be a strong man, just like his father. <laughs> oh my god. But darling, now that you're aware of this, what are you doing here? you are to refrain from any kind of hard work in this house. Well, there are no girls that can be as hard work. Honey, 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 look, in this house, it is. Alright? So 
who's gonna cook for? I don't care. Okay. The most important thing is the health of my baby boy in here and my lovely wife. Okay, friend. Then who's gonna cook for me? Me, me, my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna cook for you. But, but sweet, sweet, seriously, honestly. Fine, I'll just take some orange juice and I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Alright. Baby, um, what do you say to the doctor's advice? What? That I should engage in some form of exercise. What kind of exercise? Um, cooking and other house chairs, you know. Um, it will help my labor experience. I, are you trying to say you don't enjoy my cooking anymore. Oh, no, no, baby, of course not. Of course, I, you know, I love your cooking. I love your food. Besides, you've been working so hard lately. You come home early and start another work of cooking for me. Baby, let me help you. You're not a slave. You're not my slave. Babe, if you must know, I am nothing but a slave to you. Okay? If you don't believe me, just tell me whatever you're going to eat later and I will get it. It's okay, you're such a darling, but I want to help. Well, okay, but only because of the labor that is coming up. All right? Thank I'll you. Look for some minor chores for you to do in the house. No, 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 no. I was just cooking. It's okay for me. No, 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 no. Like I said, minor, minor chores for you to do in the house. Now, let me go get cooking what you're going to eat later, okay? Okay. Thank you. I need to turn 
And she started crying. We tried to pacify her, but she insisted she didn't want to place it around her. That's not possible. What is happening? Where is Feather? There's nowhere to be found. What do you mean, nowhere to be found? Well, from the reports we gather, her injuries are not from an accident. Yeah. We believe that's physical assault. What kind of assault are you talking about? Are you saying to us that Faisal had a hand in it? You mean that useless poison? Pst. Sakarinefa. I can't lie here. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, who is it? Mr. Faisal. Yes. I am Inspector Philip from the area command. You're under arrest. For what? For assaulting your wife and inflicting bruises on her. Now, move it. Young man. Move. Uh, uh, let, let, let me I lock my car. To the I will take lock care my of it. house. I will right. take care of it. The past. Sir. Yes. You are good to go, sir. Oh. But why didn't you tell us all this before? Sorry, Dad. I just... I just kept on forgiving me. You have lost your first pregnancy, is it? And you didn't think you should tell me. I'm sorry. I don't want to go back there, mommy. I don't want to go back there again. That will never happen again. Never. Let's assume you wanted to protect your wife. There's a limit to it. What if something worse had happened? What if you had lost you? I'm going to take this to now. First of all, you must get his wife here. Please, you shouldn't be sad. You look so melancholy. The doctors have already advised that you should please forget about everything. And as you know, it's now behind bars. You're writing again. Mm, yes, Daddy. What story is this this time around, please? It's about an unfortunate lady who falls in love with a cynical fella. Are you sure you are comfortable? writing this kind of story? Um, you know, writing down like this is like a great therapy for me. It's like peeping back into those dreadful memories, those days. And, you know, I'm gradually healing through it. What will be the end of the story? Oh, haven't you done the outline? Oh, what do you call it? Oh, you still remember those terms, wow. Dad? Oh, of course. I can never forget such a thing, please. I can never, <laughs> never, please. Okay, to answer your question, I do not have any outline yet. Well, that is odd, as it is uh, part of your own uh, tradition or what have you in uh, writing normally you have to do your outline or what have you well i don't have an outline yet but i know that at the end i want the i want the lady to kill the bad guy wouldn't that uh, equally kill the story you know she has been uh, equally suffering all alone please 
yeah, but you know, like I said, I haven't resolved on how the conclusion of the story will be. I will contact uh, Mr. Ben, my good friend in Abuja, about your movement to Abuja, and, and I hope uh, he will get. I will try to get a very befitting accommodation for you there in Abuja, equally to get a job uh, for you, because I will not allow you to do that uh, for yourself as, as uh, my beloved daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. You are you know, you most welcome, please. <laughs> very well, please. <laughs> Take it easy. Be a man. <laughs> Sorry about your loss. Your mother was indeed a great woman. <laughs> I promised her. I promised her that I would never leave Fika, my wife, ever again. But you see, I failed her. <laughs> but you see, domestic violence is one of the biggest crimes in our country today. You must be lucky. You got one year penalty. <laughs> I wish I could turn back the hands of time. <laughs> Put yourself together. Come on. Be a man. Okay? I'll be checking on you regularly until I get you out of this place. Okay? Just put yourself together. It's alright. It's okay. How about my wife? Your wife is still at home. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Okay? <laughs> Come on. This is my first time of working since I graduated from the university and I'll be needing lots of assistance from you. How long ago have you graduated? Say five, six years ago. And what have you been doing after that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? No, I mean... Something, but, um, you know, something somehow productive. You know, <laughs> I... Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Anyway, I just don't want to go into that angle. Else, I would have asked you what that productive something is. Um, you can reach me if you need any assistance. We can check one or two places just to make your stay okay in Abuja. Have a stay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this place as well. So, my office. How did you show that so much pain like that? How did you outweigh all those audio? You know, my dad used to call me a good fighter. I guess truly I'm, I am a good fighter to have come out of that lion's den alive. Where is he? I don't know. He's in prison somewhere in Nigeria. I don't even care wherever he is now. Sometimes I wish all men were like Dan. He's not a perfect person. But he's not a bad man either. You know, if you ask me who Pfizer is, I'll tell you I don't know. There's one moment he's all nice and the next thing is a monster, a beast. I don't pray for my enemy to have him. Sure, no, to have a bad yeah, I'd be honored to keep you company in my city. <laughs> Only if you're paying our bills. That's it. Yeah, she's close. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today, Mali? As you can see, but this today clothes. How have you been? It's been a while. Did you travel? Oh yes, I did. I came back a few days ago. Ah, uh, Dan, right? <laughs> that guy. How is he? Is he okay? Yeah, he's doing great. Thanks. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hi. Zara, my friend and colleague. Malik, he's a friend. Hey. Mm. Zara. Hi. 
I once had a classmate with that name, Zara. She was so smart that we all feared her. Why? Because, I mean, you write her or you use to begin story to understand what I am talking about. But are you a writer? Yeah, I'm a writer. You are a writer? Yeah, but not really. I just write stories for pleasure. Oh. Whether you write for pleasure or for money, you're still a writer. I will show you some of my stories. I mean, you let me read yours. Right? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, you can steal them if you want. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I don't steal people's story. I mean, I, I, we should protect our, our intellectual property. And I go. All right. Writers. Long time is over. I think we need to leave. Oh, la, la. It's oh. nice meeting you. Any news for me? Your wife. What about her? She has moved to Abuja. Did she attend my mother's funeral? I didn't see her. Anyway, I have good news for you. You are coming out of this place next week. I'm working on the papers. Fine. But I need you to do one thing for me. Find out where she lives in Abuja and find out where she works. I'm relocating to Abuja as soon as I live here. Calm down. What is calm down? I say she do it and the chat that's just it! Oh, okay. Okay, fine. May I join you? So, what about Ego? She's not around. She called in sick today. She has a flu. Oh, no wonder because I called her earlier today. She wasn't taking her calls. That's why I'm checking on her to work today. Don't catch the flu too. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, when did you arrive at Buja? Mm, a couple of months ago. Mm. I've been here for like six years. You're an Abuja man already. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> I like to hear it though, but I still want to go back to Lagos. When I moved down here, a couple of my friends and I switched visits. But then work happened and all of us disappeared. I miss them though. Do you have any friends that you miss? Um. Do you even have friends at all? Yeah, um, a few. A few. It's the friends. You know, friends is one of those best things that can ever happen to you. I mean, good and dedicated one. I don't have that category of friends with me. But you would accept such friends if they extend the hands of friendship. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Zara. Can I be your friend? <laughs> Come on, say something. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this place out of eleven. <laughs> India is everything about your wife. Her house, an office address. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
I knew I could count on you. Be careful. Uh, try and see your doctor for proper examination. Thank you. I will. Take care. Traced me down here. Why would I do that to my queen? I can never leave you. I'm here now. Okay. I'm just going to say, if you really must know, I'm engaged now. My ring is inside the bedroom. I know that uh, you, you're a bit surprised about uh, how I got to know that, but you see, I've been watching you. I've been watching you all along. Okay, so I know everything. And I know about your little ego. <laughs> yes. Oh, good old days. You know, when we used to date, I had such pleasure watching you. Hey. I'm still watching. I just want to know how you got into my house the last time. I met you inside and this is my house. I have every right to know. You don't expect me to answer that question, do you? Of course I do. Well, if this is your house, it is mine as well. 
You know, I'm just going to call the police on you right now because this is getting too much. Because... <laughs> police? Why didn't you ask what happened after the court proceedings the other time? The same police you want to call. They were the ones who taught me how to escape the case. So... Feel free to call the police there. They're truly my friend. How did you get the spare key to my house? That's all I want to know. I know we keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I told you that is not the problem. It doesn't matter. Whatever is yours, is mine. Besides, I have a proposal. I just got a new property here in Abuja. And why don't you come take a look at it? Why would I want to do that? Oh, because I bought it in your name. I have all I need. Now get out. Hey, hey, relax. I just want some sugar. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Relax, Angel. You know, struggling just makes it easier for me. Hmm? Hey. You just leave me. Don't you just go. Leave me alone. Get out! Get out! Go! Get out! Get out! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! sit down and talk as a gentleman and lady. Oh, please, please, just get to the point already, please. For weeks now, I've not been able to sleep. And all that I've been doing is thinking and thinking and thinking about you. Sarah, I know I don't deserve you. I know I've hurt you over and over and over again. I know. I want your pattern. I am ready to adjust to whatever it is you want me to do. See, baby, I mean every word I'm saying to you right now. I'm ready to change. You hurt me more than I can tell. I know, I know. And it hurts me too. All I want right now is your forgiveness. Because I'm nothing without you. What you seek for is not possible. So. So. I've not been able to sleep. Ever since I realized that you've gone out of my life, I just knew I had to come back here and get you back. And then I had to leave everything behind. And now I'm here. My, my business is, is just in the hands of someone. I did all of this because of you. Please come back to my life, Zara. Please. Now I 
can't support you. I can't. No, no, sir. It's possible. I will make it possible. I'm willing to do whatever it is. Please. You have to redeem your image if you want me back. If you really want me back, you'll do things I cut into my terms. No problem. I'm ready. I promise. Thank you. So what are you saying? I don't want you I don't want you to see Malik again. Malik is my friend and not my lover. Well, why did the man want to be a friend to a woman if not to ask for her love later? You can't choose my friends for me. Sarah, please. Why don't you just do this for me? Just stay away from Malik as far as possible. Why? Have you seen anything bad about him? Well, nothing to be honest. So what are you saying? Because I would not have him take you away from me. Malik is just a friend and not my lover. Come on, sir, please. Just stay away from him. I know what I'm saying. I don't want him anywhere around you. Just do it for me, please. I'm late to work. I can't do this. I'm going to. Just want you to stay away from him. That's all. It's okay. No, wait, wait. Uh not now, I, I, I'm late for work really. Boy, just a quickie. Huh? Just a quickie. I'm late for work. Can't you see I'm already late? Okay. Stop this, stop it. No, stop it! It's a problem. Okay, um, first let me have two pieces of spring rolls and um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Chicken sausage, yeah? Fried rice. No, after, yeah, fried rice, yeah, of course, definitely fried rice and uh, let's say shredded beef. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, fine. Two questions. All right, and two glass cups. <sighs> now waiting. that you're feeling well, what would that your mouth say? That reminds me, you didn't even thank me for taking care of you. You just name your price and I'll pay for it. Zara, mm -hmm. if you fall ill again and you see me taking care of you, something serious is going to happen. What's that? You'll pay me for all my services. I can't work for free anymore. I'll pay you. I'm going to pay you. I mean, I just said name your price. <laughs> Anyway, so now that I'm feeling too well, do you mind going to the cinema with me? This evening is just perfect. I saw an advert of a movie I would love to watch. Oh really? Then it's a date? I'll just go home and change and you come pick me up, huh? No. I did that the last time I went for a show. It's your turn to pick me up. No problem, ma. I'll come pick you up, ma. Really? I can pick you up. I can pick you up. I can pick you up. I can't can I have two glass cups, please? You have to take this here to lunch. Okay? So I'll see you at um, lunch. Hold on, I, I, I need to give you something. Alright, the document. Alright. So I'll see you, right? Alright. Zara! 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 How are you feeling now? 
You try to get them in the meantime. You can start your accidental here if you wish. Several and you didn't take your call. I have to call Ego to find out what happened. You've got me really scared this morning. You just fell and you were gone. What happened? What did you have to say? Nothing. Nothing. You said that. She, I mean, she said that I need to rest. You see, I said the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Are you still here? Yeah, uh, sure. Why, really? Oh. Mr. Ben called this morning from the UK. Can you get me to send him some I need to do that quickly. Alright. Alright, see you. Thank you, I'll see you soon. that freak. Haven't I warned you? What was he doing at the hospital? That's my question. Who invited that freak? I said, I'm, I'm not feeling too well. You know, I'm just coming from the hospital. Will you answer my question? What was he doing there? Now that I have your attention, are you going to answer my question? Yes. You know, I'm just coming from the hospital. I just, I just need to rest. I just want to go inside and leave you alone. Yes. We belong together. <laughs> kind of rest. Huh? So What's this wrong with you? 
What's going on with you? What did the doctor say? You know you can confide in me, right? Zara, you're crying. Can you stop crying, please? Talk to me, Zara. Please. I'm pregnant? You're pregnant. For who? <laughs> Pfizer. What? Are you crazy? Oh, wait, what am I even saying? You're definitely crazy. How did this happen? He came to my place. He's been coming to my place. How did he know your place? I thought you said you changed your numbers. I, I don't know. I asked him how he found me. He just didn't say. He comes to my house. He rapes me. And you kept short about this. It beats me up, but all the period I come to the office and I, 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 and I tell you I had a fall, it's been him all along, and with the bruises of my friends and everything. Gosh, I you should have told me. Yes, I should have told you. I was scared. I just. Oh my god. What are you going to do about the pregnancy? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, don't know. I just feel like killing myself now. I just. No, you have to make a decision fast. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You have to do something about it. And you have to do it fast. I'm keeping it. What? <laughs> Kill the pregnancy of a beast? I don't have a choice. I, I, don't, I don't have a choice, Ego. Who says you don't have a choice? A doctor. What doctor? Hey, you look up. I've made my decision already. Yeah. The pregnancy stays. Okay. What are you going to tell your parents? I don't know. I'll just, I just, I'll just tell them the truth. Everything. I go. And I just, I can't have the baby. I don't have a choice but to keep it. Can I touch my wife again? I'm not your wife. Hello, we're married? Hello, we're not. Stop that. Stop it! Are you stupid? Come here, my friend. I'm dead. Okay, doctor. Okay, I'll so quickly while you check on him. Okay. Doctor, I hope he's getting better. Yes. Okay, from my assessment, stable. At least um his heartbeat is normal. So I should say he's fine. Thank God. Thank God. 
So, um, how soon will you be discharged? If you remain stable this way, hopefully you'll be out of here in a week's time. But if his condition drops, I'm afraid you have to spend more time here, like two weeks. But let's be hopeful that um, he comes up gradually and, let's say, step up. So, let's be hopeful he gets better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. How are you today? I feel better, right? Okay. So, after a series of investigations and tests, we have come to a conclusion that your case is a case of um, bipolar disorder. Bipolar, bipolar disorder? disorder? Yes, that is one of the major causes of mood swing. So, uh, how did I get this? There are many causes, but I have to like, let me mention a few. Um, this, I would say, are minor cases. That is um, late night eating, drugs, alcohol, hormonal imbalance. And uh, we have the very severe cases, which has to do with Parkinson diseases, Huntington disease. We also have cases of a multiple sclerosis, which sometimes causes brain damage. And also, we have what we call them. Um, high blood sugar, where there's high level of sugar in the blood. It causes a fluctuation of the blood sugar. And in this case, it also causes mood swing. Doctor, so how can we manage it? Well, you need to help me as well as he will help himself here. Yeah. What you need to do now is engage him in healthy diets, eating regularly, exercising also regularly, and also engaging in vicarious um, distractions like watching television, reading, and also engaging in long walks, little distractions here and there. But most importantly, he should always come here for counseling. That would also help a, a great deal. I'm going to prescribe some drugs and leave them at the pharmacy. You pick them up later. That will also go a long way to helping him. But in the meantime, I'll conclude your report and um, get back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. That was my story, and today I'm a better husband to my lovely wife Zara, and a better man to our society. <laughs>